Welcome everyone to the Vion Podcast. Great to be here. Today we're doing a deep dive into something uh, really quite futuristic. Oh yeah. What's that? Exploring oceans. Yeah. But not ours. We're talking about oceans hidden deep under the ice on moons, like way out there in the solar system. Ah, okay. Europa and Enceladus territory, those icy moons with suspected subsurface oceans. Exactly. And, you know, the big question has always been, how on earth do you actually get down there to explore? Right. Miles of ice is a bit of a barrier. A bit. But there's some fascinating work uh, coming out of places like NASA's JPL. They're developing concepts that sound straight out of science fiction. I, I think I know what you might be talking about. Is this the, the tiny robot idea? That's the one. The core concept is developing these, well, miniature swimming robots designed specifically for those alien seas. Yeah, the swim concept sensing with independent micro swimmers. It's a really neat idea instead of one big expensive submersible. Which could fail, right. And then the whole mission is kaput. Exactly. You send a whole swarm of these little guys. Maybe dozens, maybe more. So redundancy is built right in, and they can cover more ground, presumably. That's the plan. Fan out, explore different areas, maybe even squeeze into tighter spots. They're testing prototypes now, but the goal is serious miniaturization. But, okay, hang on. Under kilometers of ice and water? Mm -hmm. Pitch black. Immense pressure. Mm -hmm. How do they even know where they are or talk back to us? GPS oh. isn't exactly an option. No, definitely not. Radio waves won't cut it either, so the thinking leans towards acoustics. Sound waves. Like sonar? Pretty much. Imagine a probe melts through the ice, deploys the swarm, and then acts like a central hub, pinging them. Ah, so the little swimmers listen for the pings to figure out their location and send data back using sound too. That's the concept, an underwater acoustic network, essentially. Clever. And what are they actually looking for down there? With tiny sensors. Signs of habitability, key things would be um, chemical sensors looking for gradients, changes in salinity, acidity, maybe dissolved gases like methane. Things that might indicate geological activity, like hydrothermal vents. Precisely. And temperature sensors, too. Finding warm spots or chemical hot spots like Earth's deep sea vents would be huge. It points towards energy sources life could potentially use. It really bridges the gap, doesn't it? Yeah. Between the orbital missions like... Uh, Europa Clipper that map from above. Yeah, Clipper and Juicy will give us invaluable data from orbit, mapping the ice, looking for plumes, but they can't taste the water. Right. Swim is about actually getting in the water. It's still a concept, of course, needs lots of work and funding. Sure, it's early days in terms of a full mission, but the fact they're building and testing prototypes now, that shows the engineering is becoming, well, plausible. It's not just a drawing anymore. It's incredibly exciting just thinking about it if we can actually send these little explorers into those hidden oceans. What might they find? That's the ultimate question, isn't it? Evidence of life or just yeah. completely alien geology and chemistry. It really makes you wonder about the potential for life or at least the conditions for it. Just hiding beneath these you know, seemingly barren icy surfaces. It opens up entirely new possibilities for where life might exist. Absolutely. Well, that's definitely something to think about. We'll have to leave it there for this deep dive. A fascinating topic. Indeed. Make sure you stay tuned for more intriguing stories right here on the Vion Podcast.